Hey guys, RitzKid76 here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Connect4 build on my Redstone server that I joined. So, um, basically, this Connect4 isn't uh, like your standard Connect4 that uses lamp displays. So this uses um, concrete powder, and when you push the button, it will retract these pistons, push the concrete powder out, drop it down, and then push it onto the board, which you can see happens right now. It's a little slow, but it works. So you can see it gets pushed down onto the spot that you pressed. And then um, the system will automatically switch between the color um, of the player. So yeah, and that's done by the purple circuit, which is input essentially. So it comes through here as to get passed from this piston in. And then there's a switch here. There's a, a clicking sound coming from this thing. Just try to ignore that. You're probably gonna hear it for most of the video. So I'll try to stay away from it though. But yeah, so every button press, these pistons will swap the block. And based on that block position, it tells the circuit which um, sand is getting pushed out and um, what item to put in the memory, which I'll get into that memory later. But basically what this does is if you hit the reset button it will um, store the blocks back to their correct positions as you can see here so yeah so uh, this system also has input like overflow protection so say you have a big stack up to here like this and you go to Put another color in it'll obviously go here but then after this it shouldn't because of the purple circuit which right now it won't because i manually placed those items in but now as you can see this piston got retracted and if i push this button nothing happens it doesn't get passed through because this has a little counter in it that keeps track of the amount of items that have like yeah I'm out of button presses. So, um, so you may be wondering, well, what's all like this stuff on the back and then this thing here, all that, obviously. So what this part is, the green circuit is basically the clock for the reset system. So each layer has to run, it has to like iterate through everything. So it needs to check the memory, which um, I might as well just go over this now. The memory basically stores if it's red or blue, and that's stored using signal strength, and that's red out down here. And that basically tells the, these pistons here to be out or in. And if they're out, when um, if they're in this position, a blue concrete would come down, it would get pushed here, and all these blocks would toggle. So the blue would get caught, all the reds would fall through, and then they get pushed across to this position, and this thing will pick them up, send them up, and then this will go to whatever the this section over here tells it to do, based on the little dropper line, or observer line on the bottom. Yeah. So, then we also have a, uh, a little thing here. I'll get into that later, but basically the, um, so the yellow circuit is all of the uh, reset control so when you push the reset button the circuit um, basically prevents button input by pulling these pistons down so you can't add to it when you're not supposed to um, it also controls the uh, um, yeah so it also controls this circuit here which this basically checks to see if there's any more items that are up here like, if there's any more items keeping track of a piece up here. And if there aren't, all of these redstone blocks will go up. And I basically use this redstone line here. Which actually isn't a part of those comparators there. They're just touching because it's just how I made it. Um, God, that's loud. Uh, I'll try to stay away. Wait. So, there's a redstone torch down there. I don't know if you could see that. I don't want to get too close to the noise. So, um... Yeah, I could have just turned my sound down, but we don't need to talk about it. So, 
Yeah, so it, it's basically a giant AND gate, and once that torch turns on, it'll basically deactivate the whole green circuit. Um, the pink circuit, this basically, so the way I made this, if you push the reset button and there's no items here, it'll simply just keep clocking forever, because these pistons will be up, that redstone torch would have already been on, and that's a, a hooked up to a mana stable. So it sends out a pulse, so it's not going to keep trying to tell the thing to stop resetting. So the pink circuit basically keeps track of how many clock cycles that the green circuit has done, and if it exceeds six, it just shuts the whole reset system down and closes up everything. Um, orange circuit is an AFK reset timer, so if you leave the system alone for a while, it'll reset itself. Um, uh, yeah. And light blue is just memory control. So you can see there's a dropper tower here, and it keeps clocking for a while during, like, when the system's, like, in playing mode, and that's just due to the way I made it. Um, I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but... I couldn't really get around it, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that should cover everything. So if I just kind of put some pieces down here, as you can see, it's actually very fast between the piece switching. So, yeah. Um, and if I hit the reset, it's, it's going to be a little laggy. But, yeah, so you can see these will get pushed out to just catch the blue at the last second, and then get rid of them. And then this will close up again. Yeah, so I might do a tutorial based on how many people actually request to make a tutorial for this, but I don't actually plan on making a tutorial. And I'm making a new version here, and as you can see, it's significantly smaller um, compared to the old version. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get around to finishing this due to some issues with lack of space. I might make it slightly bigger, but I don't know. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment the video. Um, yeah. Bye.